Today, I'm going to turn these into these earrings. The materials you'll need to make this earring and this earring is a flower cabochon post for this earring and the hanging post or you can do it exactly like this if you don't have one of these and some paint skins and UV resin as well as some tape for your purple one. Uh, I also put some pieces of abalone shell in this purple one and I will show you how it's all set up. So let's get started. I am going to put this down for the purple one and I'm just using some UV resin from D J Diction. I am using Agapanthus from TLP to mix with it to give the background color. And I have a little pot right here that I am going to put a little bit of the J Diction UV resin in. And I'm going to take just a little bit with a toothpick. I don't need a lot probably too much and I'm gonna use a dotting tool to mix it up there we go and just make sure it's pressed down hard on the tape and I'm just gonna put a little bit in each petal Spread it around just enough. And if it's not getting in the little point, you can always take toothpick and help even it out. I hope everyone is having a marvelous day and you had a wonderful weekend. wipe off my dotting tool. I'm just going to take a toothpick here. Make sure there's enough in the corners. There we go. Just a little bit here. Now I'm going to take some of the, the Avalon shells here. I have some small ones here. Best thing to do is just get your toothpick, place it in. And if they're too big, I'm just going to use these pliers and break off some smaller pieces. There we go. And we need one more there. How about this? Get my light and I am going to hit it with the UV for 90 seconds. In 90 seconds it should be hard enough and then I put a clear coat on it so you do this for each petal try not to overfill
Make sure it's spread evenly in the petals. Do 90 seconds. Peel it off the tape. The last one I did, the tape came with it. So I just sprayed a little bit of rubbing alcohol. And then I took my toothpick and just made sure that I got the rest of the sticky residue off the back. This tape is really sticky. I didn't think it was that sticky. And then you can get a baby wipe. Tape that off just like that. I'll go ahead and clean the rest of this and be back in a jiffy. Okay, so it is hardened with the UV light, as you can see. And the way I put the post to put in your ear, I just put it through and then put a, in between a little bit of UV resin. I just put it in a pot because you don't need much. And I just used toothpick, the handy dandy toothpick, just like this. And then I'm gonna put a little bit around here just like that I'm gonna wipe that off and then I'm going to UV light for 60 seconds just to set it so it is hardened and I have a little piece of abalone shell here and I have some of that purple leftover agapanthus and what you do is put a little bit on the end of the post just like that so it covers it And then take your piece of Avalon shell, center it, just like that. And then get out your UV light again, and then hit it for 60 seconds. Just enough so it keeps everything from shifting and moving. And then once that's done, I'm going to take a little dab of clear UV resin on top of it. So it's now set. I'm gonna get clear resin. Just one a little bit. Best way is to hold it. And try and get a little dome on it. How cute is that? And then I'm gonna hit it again under the UV light. This time I'm going to hit it for 150 seconds. I'll be back when it's done. And there you have it. Two cute earrings with some really adorable Avalon shell. Next, a great idea for using your paint skins from your acrylic pores and a cute little flower daisy cabochon. And it makes a really adorable hanging earring. For this earring, I used just a little piece right here of my paint skin. And what you need to do is flip it over, put your cabochon on the back, and I traced around it with a pencil outside and in to give me a guideline when I'm going to cut it because this is too small for here so it doesn't it's it sort of floats and I found this was just a little too big I attached it to the back but I like it sort of more in laid into the cabochon. So I'm gonna cut this out and hopefully cut in between these two lines here. Fire, you 
stuck on every word Look so good it hurts, baby, you are my desire Higher, take me on a trip I don't wanna miss a second looking in your eyes Inspired by the way you move All I wanna do, baby, you are my desire Focus on the lightning in your room Rose golden Baby, all I see is you Wild, love you wild Get me seeing stars wide eyed out of style Baby, got my heart overflowing Pull me close, yeah Get me high every night Get me seeing stars wide eyed out of style Baby, got my heart overflowing Wild, love you wild And you can make these into sets I have an actual, I did a ring right here that would match with these earrings and then you can also make a pendant for it. I do have a pair of tweezers. I'm hoping that this will help. Put each petal down. There we go. Going to hit it with my UV light. Just test it out, make sure it's okay. Peel off any excess UV resin. Gonna put a little bit more UV resin in here. I put too much ink, one drop. It was a lot of the Azure Blue. Mix it well. It's really dark. Just to lighten it up a little bit. And then I just put a little bit in each petal. Spread it around with a toothpick. Push it in the tip of the petal there. Wipe it off, your dotting tool off. I use baby wipes, spray it down with a little bit of rubbing alcohol. And then I'm going to that with my UV light. Now I am just going to put a dab of clear UV resin on top in each petal. I'm gonna use my handy dandy toothpick Spread it around and then use the UV light. And this time I will do it for five minutes. And here it is. And I have a ring and the hook and a pair of pliers. I am going to put this through each hoop and then squeeze it shut. There we go. Where's the backing? I swear I had the backing. <laughs> there we go. And we have two really cute flower earrings. Next time a lighter color. <laughs> but it was so much fun. I really enjoyed it. I hope you all enjoyed it and how to make these really cute earrings as well as this really cute ring right here. I did that earlier. I just cut out 
a piece of my paint skin and just put some clear UV resin on top and I have myself a ring. And here are the finished earrings. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you everyone for joining me today. And I hope you go and try these techniques or if you have something that you'd like me to try, please let me know in the comments below. I will list all the materials in my description below as well. If you have stuff you've done, I'd really like to see it as well. So please join my Facebook. You can find those links in the description below. I want to welcome all my new subscribers and my returning subscribers. Now go be creative and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.